So in today's video I'm going to uh, show you a little differently hand holding the camera and uh, see what I've been doing for several hours. That's the reason I couldn't bring you on the whole tour <laughs> of making it, but uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, I will take you in detail later. Like this. The ribs. this. Uh, I also want to uh, show you my tools for doing a lot of these things. First the uh, inlay tool. Uh, that is for actually make a, another go for making the inlay, the purfling a little bit pronounced in this way. Um, if you look at old violins you can see that this is the case on the old violins. Uh, this is my scratch tool. My, it's a cut off ruler. And uh, here these corners are good for making like small scratches. Uh, the other side, this one, is a rounded off and uh, I can show you a little bit here what's possible to do with this one. Mm, I hope. You see? Uh, the varnish doesn't stick that hard to the ground. So uh, it can be scratched off and you can do, well, any pattern you like. Uh, we can also uh, zoom in a little bit to this uh, point where hmm, autofocus. Hmm. Sorry, oh, like that. You see the spot, the dark spot where I put this uh, extra piece of wood in. It's uh, not so noticeable now. Um, then um, I have the abrasives here. This is like doing. Uh, it's a little bit more abrasive than my thumb, but uh, it's a very, very fine uh, core. Uh, well, <laughs> it takes very fine. It's for varnish rubbing. And this is uh, more coarse. This is like, I would guess, about uh, 400 grit sandpaper. Grit was a word I uh, was looking for. Oh, mustn't do too much. Uh, I also use uh, for uh, like dirt this uh, uh, well Liquitex heavy body transparent burnt umber and I also have uh, here, uh, watercolors. It's a green, brown, and uh, very dark. And I can go back and forth with a watercolor brush and see. Uh, so uh, it's not just one color. Dirt is many colors. Uh, that is one of the reasons not to mix too many colors. Uh, also, of course, uh, I can take off with alcohol and uh, since uh, it's uh, egg white in the uh, ground, uh, protects the wood, 
If I want to take it away, I use uh, uh, water because water dissolves the egg white. You have to rub it a little bit, but uh, I do that. Then I took my dark stain, uh, my positive stain, and uh, treated this area after bringing the egg white off. Uh, and then uh, the result of it is that you have varnish partly here in the edges, but in this area you have a darker area which uh, the stain has uh, made dark. Um, we can, oh gosh, zoom in little by little and look at the craquelet. It doesn't really like that. Uh, let's see if it wakes up here. Can you see the craquelet is um, right there and uh, it's quite luxurious to have the craquelet which you can uh, oh, I love this camera but right now it's a little bit disappointing oh well I hope you see the craquelet and um, the thing is that if you make it quite uh, strong you you're in the good position where you can take off uh, until you're satisfied if you have a very weak craquelet then uh, you have to be very careful not to end up without it uh, we can also see here in the sea about mm -hmm. I guess there's someone out there want to help the idiot with a camera now. Uh, we'll take this one instead. Oh well. Can you see here? It's uh, I can save as much crackle as I want to. And um, same here and get uh, some character of the varnish so I don't just have a very uh, slick flat surface um, the same here well, perhaps the other side is more easier to show like that Um, well, from this shaky <laughs> video, uh, I'm checking out now, but what I'm going to do is uh, treat the whole violin with a, a varnish layer, very thin, but also with a little bit of lamp black in it. Um, uh, it's um, the lamp black is not all bad and uh, uh, well I come back to you and show how it turned out uh, so uh, see you in a while